Hi everyone. So just really quick, I want to do a reformed gym chalk tutorial. Many of you have asked me about it over the course of the time that I've had this channel. And so I thought since I'm doing it today, I would record it and share it with you guys. Now, this is the way I've been doing it. I'm sure there's other ways to do it that's maybe easier, but I don't know, this works for me. And I like the consistency that usually comes out of the chalk. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. But um, so as you see, I have a lot of powder here and I'm, I'm wearing gloves because I have a wicked cut on my thumb and sometimes it could sting. But you see, this is just a lot of mixed powder. I don't have anything specific. It's probably chalkness, adder, SPRI, ProSource, like all the different chalks kind of in there. Oh, and as you see, it's not completely full, but I do have about uh, two of these that are about yay high. This powder that's in here, I measured and it was one and a half 13 gallon garbage bags worth of powder that I dumped in here. So that's that. I also have a blender and I usually use this if I am doing this much chalk because it's just easier to get it all mixed. But I also do use my hand. If I'm using something a little smaller like this, then I usually just kind of uh, whip it with my hand because I actually do like feeling the texture of the powder when it becomes wet. It's kind of like a sludge and then I have my hose and I'm doing this outside on this concrete patio because it can get pretty messy um, and then I'm going to mold it inside so that they could just dry. Um, so yeah, so these are the three main things that I do use and so yeah, let's get started and I hope this helps. Um, again, everyone's consistency texture may be different depending on even the water that you're using the powder that you're using how much powder how much water there's a lot of different factors but um i'm just there's no real measuring method for me it's more my sensory and how it feels and that's usually what i go by so i'll uh, mention that too as i'm doing this so what i'm going to start to do is fill this whole entire bucket with water I just splashed myself. Okay. And we're just going to take it from there. Oh, dusty. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I think this handle's broken. Okay, this handle is legit broken. Look at that. All right, so I'm just going to fill this and return. Okay, so that nozzle is legit broken and there's something wrong with it and I don't know what happened to the other nozzle but in any case um so I didn't have the water filled all the way but you could see that it's in here and it doesn't the powder doesn't like my god it needs a lot of water like you guys like if you're not doing this you don't realize how much it it's like dehydrated so anyway so as I put the water in with my hand this is when I don't mind using my hand I basically just mix all this kind of stuff. I think there is some blue powder in here, to be quite honest with you. I must have missed that. Anyway, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep adding water and then kind of tossing this. But you see, I like it to be just a little bit more waterier than that, but I don't like to put too much water, but you gotta incorporate all of it, so. All right, that's it, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Oh, I love this one. Oh, what a good feeling. Oh. Oh, sorry guys. This video is not very professional, huh? <laughs> okay guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but someone's mowing me lawn. But as you can see, I mixed it all up. There's still a layer of water on the top and now I'm gonna start blending so that could incorporate the rest of the powder. But there's actually not a lot of water in here. Um, it's still very sludgy. Like, you see, but I'm gonna get it finer because underneath all this, there's lots of powder. So, all right, that's that. Oh. Mm. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much got it mixed up pretty well. Um, it's pretty, it's still pretty thick. At some corners, the water just kind of comes back up, but I transferred it over to the smaller bucket and then I started blending it in that. And you know what, just because I love the sound. Pretty much Now, 
a while back I used to sift all the powder and then put it in but you know what I don't have I can't be can't be bothered with that sorry guys it's just so much work so some of it still stays kind of clumpy but you know what maybe that's a good thing because it brings that old school kind of chalkness texture but as you see I like it this consistency it's still very thick um, if I needed to I could always add more powder sometimes you need to add more powder add more water add more powder add more you know and just keep that going until it's something you like um, I notice if there is a little bit more water in it it takes just a little longer to dry, but nothing too terrible. So anyways, that's that. Let's see, same thing. So, all right. Now I'm gonna bring my little bucket over to the molds. All right, so now I have all my molds laid out here and I'm going to put this into these, but obviously it's gonna take me a few trips. And hopefully I could get some color ones too. So what I'll do is towards the end, I'll incorporate the powder and mix in color, which I could also show you. And we'll see what happens. I may need to make more um, reform powder to fill all this, or I may not. I'm going to see how far it gets me. So, okay, that's that. Look at all those. I don't even know how many of those are in there, but we'll figure it out. Hey, my little love bugs. Thank you for getting this far with this tutorial video. I want to apologize though because I realized I did not find the videos that it shows where I actually colored the powdered chalk for the different molds as well as the video that I took when I took the molds or I should say the chalk out of the molds to let them sit for a little bit but I do have these stills that you're looking at right now. Uh, this one is all the molds laid out and at the very top you'll see all the little molds that I had that were different shapes and these are the different colors. There's blue ones, there's pink ones, there's yellow ones, there's green ones and I believe if you look at um, any of my July 2021 reforms and perhaps August 2021 reforms, I believe they were mostly from these batches. Also the next still you'll see is the mold, sorry the chalk that I took out of the molds. And what I do is I usually do that and let them dry a couple extra days because sometimes they could stay damp. Now, I feel for my reforms, there is such a thing as over drying. And that's why sometimes they get a little extra harder. Um, but, you know, it's a process that I've been doing for a while, but I'm sure I could perfect it and make it way shorter. You guys are probably like, what are you doing? This is way too long of a process. <laughs> but... Um, the truth is I kind of enjoyed it. There was something very therapeutic about playing with the um, sludgy, wet powder. So, But I will say that it's uh, definitely a process and I aim to make it a more streamlined one for the future. Thank you all for being so supportive, uh, the old and the new viewers. I know I've let this channel go for a while and I wish I would have kept up with it when I first started it, but you know, life happens. So I aim to get back on track. What started out as a passion project, um, I saw really could be something for myself and I want to continue that process. So thank you all very much for being so supportive and I hope that you follow my other channel, Maddie's Meditations, which is just a bunch of affirmations and soundscapes, which is something that I also really enjoy. And one of these days, I will finally get that food channel going. Um, but in the meantime, thank you again so much and we'll catch up with you soon. Bye.